Hey there, this is Clay from Relationship Inner Game, and today I got a question from someone named Nadia about what exactly you should be doing during no contact. So Nadia says that she's been doing active no contact uh, like we talked about, and she wants to know what she should be doing with herself during this time period. And, you know, whether you're doing active no contact or, you know, regular crappy no contact that everyone else is telling you about, um, there really is no easy template. You know, sometimes people will tell you, you know, during no contact, you should be learning how to play the banjo and rock climbing and going on a diet. And, you know, that's great if you happen to be some bizarre freak of nature who loves the banjo is obsessed with rock climbing and dieting. But, you know, that's not probably 99% of people out there. And what you have to do is you have to do things that are important to you. You have to uh, look within your own heart and see what you're being compelled to do. And of course, when you add that to the active no contact principles that uh, we teach you at Relationship Inner Game, then um, you know, you'll know you have even better success with it. So there is no real template. And uh, you know, uh, you know, ignore anyone who tells you that there's like a specific thing you need to do, like volunteer at a soup kitchen, or uh, play soccer, or you know, paint your house, or something like that. Um, you really have to discover what feels most fulfilling to you during active no contact, or passive no contact too. Um, and, you know, of course, add some active no contact stuff on top of that. If you'd like to learn more about active no contact and what you should be doing during no contact, please go to relationshipinnergame.com and sign up and we'll tell you more about all of that. Thanks. <music>